Good morning from Lucas Tavern. We're located in the living block at Old Alabama Town. Lucas Tavern was built about 1818 on the Old Federal Road. The tavern itself was operated by Walter and Eliza Lucas. Walter was a very successful businessman, had several plantations, operated a gin, uh, and also had a mercantile as well. Eliza operated this particular tavern. You'd find a tavern like this every 12 to 15 miles along the Federal Road because that's about how far you could make it in a day. The Federal Road ran from Milledgeville, Georgia, all the way up and down to St. Stephen's, and then on down to New Orleans as well. Here in the tavern, you could get food. Eliza was known for being a very good cook. And you would also be safe as well. The images on the wall, the McKinney and Hall prints, are images of the leaders in the Upper Creek Nation. Uh, all of this land where Lucas Tavern was located was taken over by the U.S. federal government after the Battle of Horseshoe Bend in 1814. And these are the leaders of the Creek Nation at that point. They lived all around this area and would have been frequenters to Lucas Tavern here, uh, located around Lyon Creek, which is uh, in today near um, Wa, Alabama. Eliza's dining room was located uh, on the back shed addition to the house itself. And we know that it was her dining room because of the exit door. That separate door would have gone to a cooking area in the back or even a separate structure, a cooking kitchen as well. These are all the different types of facts we just don't have proof of. Eliza set a very nice table. And for the price, you also could sleep in one of the sleeping rooms that she handled. You got a spot in a bed or a spot in a pallet on the floor, as well as a meal, and a safe place for your animals as well in the back. A lot of people chose to go the less expensive route and just stay close in bed rolls, um, or close to the tavern when the sun went down. Eliza was known for her hospitality. The inn at which we changed horses was one of the neatest and cleanest we had seen in the South, and though very humble in its appearance and furniture, there was much an air of neatness, cleanliness, and order about it that it excited our warm commendation. The landlady, having her sympathies touched by our praise of her management and arrangement, entered voluntarily into conversation with us and told us the outline of her history. These are recollections by James Buchanan, who was traveling through the area in March of 1839. The, the Lucas is set a very hospitable atmosphere here at Lucas Tavern for safety, for food, and for the well-being of the travelers on the Federal Road as they came into Montgomery. Visit us at Lucas Tavern at Old Alabama Town.